Hi, this is Dave, Fellow Running Guide. Welcome to another navigation task. This one is from Snowdonia. I'm using the Harvey Superwalker 1 to 25,000 extract and I'm using it via Anquet mapping software. So the question is, where was the photo taken? And can you identify the feature shown by the red arrow? So that's the photograph that is the map. So let's go back to the photograph to start with, see what we can see. So we're on um, a rocky path heading across rather than up towards some very rocky high ground with a, looks like a summit and then another summit further on behind it. To our right, the ground drops away. To our left, it rises slightly. It looks like it then drops away over this edge here. We can see some rocky cliffs and it looks like that might drop down beyond our sight. Uh, extending into the distance to the right, we've got a slight rocky peak that the red arrow is pointing to. And then the rocky ground continues beyond that to a point here and then that disappears. So looking at the map we want to identify a path that's running um, reasonably flat with the ground dropping away to our right, a slight rise to our left and then it looks like it goes over an edge and drops steeply down and ahead of us there should be high ground, high rocky ground with a, uh, at least one summit visible. So what can we see? Well, we've got some paths here. This is going uphill, so we can discount that because we were running on flat. From here, we've got gradual, we've got flat and then an ever so slight down and then flat again. So we could be somewhere along here. Flat to here and then the path goes round and kinks away steeply up here so we can't be on that flat and then steeply down all the way here steeply down here this if we're on this we've got steep very steep ground extending a long way to our left if we're going down there so that's not right and then this path here very very steeply down so we can discount that a little bit of a path here which we could possibly be on the ground drops away to our right but it looks like it drops away very very steeply we're very close to the edge there rather than having the ground rising slightly to our left so we can discount that bit what else can we see let's go back to the photograph so what we can see is we're just about to leave rocky ground to hit some vegetated terrain. There's this short section of vegetated ground before it gets rocky and goes steeply up. Now on Harvey maps the vegetation is shown by colouring. So grey is rocky terrain and a brown, these brown areas are where it's more vegetated. So we're on a point where we're going just about to change from rocky to vegetated. So again, we can't be on any of this here because this is all rocky. What about this point here where the rockiness changes? You see this index contour line changes from grey to brown, indicating rocky to vegetated. So we could possibly be on there. If we were on there somewhere, then the ground is going to be dropping away with a slight rise up to this sharp edge and then dropping away the other side. Ahead of us, we've got this ground starting to rise steeply up to a little peak, crags facing northwards, and then the ground rising again behind, behind that to the summit here of Glidafach. So does that fit with the photo? Well, we've definitely got this change of vegetation we just mentioned, and then steeply up, rocky ground again to this 
rocky summit and another summit beyond that that could be Glidervach. And that first rocky summit that you could see could be this point here, which is Castelli Gwynt, Castle in the Winds. But what about these paths? So we've got a path that carries on, split there, a path that goes down, and then another path that zigs back towards us. So if we look here, there's no path split, and there's certainly not another one zigging back. So should we be concerned about that? Now that's a mistake a lot of people make. Uh, they want to see every path on the ground shown as a path on the map, but that's simply not the case. Not all paths are shown. So we should always look at the natural features first, the contours, the change in vegetation. So don't worry too much about those path splitting. Some people think get drawn into that being the zig, but that doesn't fit because there we're very close to the edge with a drop off on the other side. And that zig is coming back uphill rather than downhill on the photo. So you can see there that zigzag that's going back down so that doesn't fit. So that is the point that the photo was taken where we're just changing from rocky to vegetated. What about this feature that's shown by the red arrow? So looking at the map, the first in instinct is to say, right, it's this feature here. We've got a ring contour indicating a high point. But we've, if we look a little bit more closely, there's a couple of things that we might tell us that that's not the case. So the first thing to look at is the contour lines. So on this Harvey map, contours are in 15 meter intervals. So this bold index contour here is the 900 meter interval and that path comes in and drops to the contour line just above that index contour so that's the 915 contour and if we look here that contour carries on around here and then back here so this point here is significantly below that let's go back to the photo so if we look where this path comes in underneath Castelli Gwynt, then that point there is actually ever so, ever so slightly higher than the path, not below it. So that doesn't make sense. So the height doesn't make sense. Another thing to look at is the contour lines. See how they change direction. So underneath this spot height here, the contours swing round to the northeast. So all the way down, these contours swing round. So this ridge coming down here ends at that spot height and swings and changes direction. And if we look at our feature that's arrowed, then it might change direction swing around just below the height but this ridge we can see extends much further down here and drops away slightly as we go down which again doesn't fit with the map so you can see we've got this very rocky ground immediately underneath that arrow and some more very steep rocky ground beyond it So whilst we've got some crags below that height, then beyond it, it just gives way into a slope. So that doesn't fit. So what are we looking at? Well, the feature arrowed is actually this little spot. Well, this little form line there. Really, it's not even a full index contour. It's that little height there. And the photo was taken from that point, as we discussed there, just on the change from vegetate from rocky to vegetated. 
this wasn't the point that we were looking at on the, with the arrow. That was actually, let me put an arrow on, that was actually this. So that might, might have caught a few people out. So those are your answers. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. I hope you got it right. Uh, if you didn't, it doesn't matter as long as you felt that you've, um, you've learned something. So thanks for watching. Look out for more of these navigation tasks. Bye for now.